Hey guys, so it seems like the only person really positive on this new set pre-release was tonight. My friend went, I uh, got invited to go, told he was going to pay for it, decided no. Can't do pre-releases, and if you know my channel, you know I love pre-releases. Uh, prior to my boycott of new product, I went to every pre-release. Sometimes I would go to five of them in a weekend. And many of them was back in the age where the first pre-release started at midnight, ended at like 5 a.m. The second pre-release would be at 12 p.m. Saturday. The third pre-release would be 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. Saturday. And then the fourth and fifth pre-release would be uh, 12 p.m. on Sunday and 6 p.m. on Sunday. I, I would do the whole gambit with my friends. And it was really fun. Uh, and then there's nothing like the first pre-release though. So this set is pre-releasing as I'm making this video. And turnout is very poor in Houston. Uh, my friend had to go to two different locations. Because the first location he went to had no players. And they again, you know, you, you definitely in pre-release for the prize pool sake. You want to go to the largest location you can. I'm not going to say what two locations they are because, again, I I don't dislike these stores. But the second place, they ran the event with six people. So the first place couldn't run the event. Not enough people. So all the people from the first place went to the second place. And that combined to six people. There is not very much value in this uh, Carvlo Manor. People are clowning on it. Uh, the artwork looks really bad. Looks like artwork from previous sets. And overall, I mean, I don't think this is an investable product. Sales of this set, at least on TCG Player, is just atrocious. The collector box pre-sale at this stage is less than half of each of the Lost Cavern. Wilds of Eldraine, March of the Machines, Phyrexia All B B1, Brothers War, Dominary United, or even Streets of New Campena. It is in fact less than a third of each of the Dominaria United, One, and Mom. So these numbers are public. You can go, I, I double checked. Uh, typically, when people post an MTG Finance, if they're saying something that is a lie, they're going to get ripped to shreds, right? That's how it is. Looking at the play booster boxes, which I hate, uh, the general consensus is it doesn't make sense to use. They <sighs> so, so let me get this straight. <laughs> they went from normal standard booster boxes to play draft collector. Now they're just down to, uh, sorry, set draft collector. Now they're back to just play and collector. Yikes, my dude. Looking at the play booster boxes, the sale is on track with other set other sets set boosters, but no other sets previously also had draft boosters boxes sales accounting for a decent additional percentage of sales. In addition, about 75% of the play booster sales were through the NVP dump at 129. Dot nine nine, which other sets set boosters never had in pre-release or TCG player. It's essentially an Amazon dump light. If you remove normalize those sales, these sales are bleak. It's interesting how Wizard of Coast didn't load this set more, giving the change in price increase on overall basis. That's correct. They should have gave it stronger cards. My prediction, any impactful or heavily brewed single after release will experience sharp price rise on TCG Player at least, but won't really hold over 6 months to a year, dependent on whether it impact rate of sealed sales. Hope your shops that run events at least have better sales than the casual retailer indicates, and the answer is no, they don't. Uh, if you live in Houston, drop your, and you went to pre-release, I'm, I'm curious because obviously I'm in the northeast in Humble. So that's as much as I'm going to talk about. 
uh, in terms of these events. Um, I, I it was actually interesting. One of the fans, I uh, FaceTimed them, I guess. I don't know. It was weird. Anyway, I honestly don't think it has much to do with the set being loaded with chase cards or not. I just feel like the set is wholly unexciting from the theme to the execution. And from what I've seen from the community, many feel the same. Too many wonky mechanics was the turnoff for me. Hiding information from players using the cards is mechanically really bad. Uh, and Morph is back. I don't know what positive things are to say about this set. But this potentially and is on track to be the worst set of Magic the Gathering. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. And to my knowledge, there is one guy out there. Yes, this guy that we are looking at right now with his wife's sports cards. Even though he doesn't play the game or know anything about how SPs are in these cases. And how you would never buy a box. But anyway. Um, let's just talk about uh, how bad this is. This is... <laughs> really really bad guys this set like if, you, if you're buying this set remember 120 like they already had a sale a mini amazon dump at 129.99 that's not bad that is not bad at all and like i said when the price is low the price is low it's, it's low for a reason and the pre-release, I, I don't know if these numbers are public, but at least from what I'm being told right now, uh, there's no one there. There's literally no one there. And there's no one interested. And this set may go down as one of the worst sets in Magic the Gathering history. Um, the creativity is not great. I mean, it, it really could go down as one of the worst sets. Yet, there is one individual out there pumping and dumping and that's our beloved Rudy Chan I can't I mean I thought route returned to Ravnikar or no Ravnikar remastered return to RTR Ravnikar Legions they're running out of art guys like eventually Ravnikar they, re, they will reprint Ravnikar so much there won't be a, an acronym for it Guys, this is real bad. You should not be buying this. Buy singles, guys. Do not buy the boxes. Please wait at least a month. If, if you have to, wait as long as you can. Because I think these cards are going to plummet 50, 60, 70, 80, 90%. Once more of the product gets open, I'm positive Amazon's going to dump it in at least next year. It is the perfect Amazon dump product. And people are already dumping it. 